Welcome back to another mCrater lore video. So today what we're going to be working on is tilled soil, which is going to be kind of like a special type of block that you can find in this particular biome that we're working on, the plains biome, which will be very good for farming on. Um, normally you would, like Vanilla has it set up where the block will be, uh, the grass could be basically tilled and then you would plant your crops on there as long as there's water around. I want to take a little different approach later on and basically make it so you have to find a block in order to till it. Um, basically it will be a renewable resource, sort of, kind of, not really, but you'll be able to find it in the world. It will generate on the surface, you'll be able to turn it into tilled version. And then you can kind of bring it into the actual like plant crops and stuff on it. So a few different crop ideas that I want to actually work on is corn and rice. Uh, both of these are crops that can be found in plains generally. So that would fit our biome kind of mood where we're going to be planting this. Again, um, I just finished the texture for the actual... Uh, fertile soil. Now I'm working on the other texture for the, the the actual tilled version for it. So we'll set all that up to D, but uh, again I just wanted to kind of give it some unique texturing and I'll bring it into the 32 by 32 again just to see if it is seamless and everything. So that's basically what I do when I'm tiling it by a 4x4 just to see how it reacts with all the other blocks. And I was pretty happy with it so we could save. I then imported the textures just quickly for both of the images. Once I did that, it was time to basically get the fertile soil set up. So we're going to import our texture. This will be the block. I'm going to use the same texture for all the different or all the sides. And then we can set the same properties as dirt. So basically the same properties here. So 0.5 and 0.6a or 5 or whatever value it is and then we can make sure that uh, other properties like the dirt and material and if it requires a tool or not so obviously dirt doesn't require a tool but um, other things for the color on the map so we basically changed the color on the map for what we wanted I went with brown and then I wanted to make sure that the properties were set up for the entity so they wouldn't, um, they would basically render it as a block that is not pathfinding. And then we just needed basically set up the procedures. I'm just importing the procedures so we can have it all set up. And then generation, I wanted to make sure the generation would replace the grass and soil version in that biome. Um, then I wanted to actually make sure that the biome that we specified is where it's going to be spawning. So it will be found only in the plains biome and other paint plains variants. Uh, we're going to make probably a couple different variants of biomes in the future. And um, I'm just setting the generation settings right now to something that would be a good starting point. We might adjust it later on depending on what it looked like in game. From what I remember, it looked pretty good, so we'll probably not change it too much. Um, the, the end result of the settings here are basically what I went for. And I thought I might have needed an additional condition, but I didn't actually use it. Um, it's just the one thing I just deleted it after, but I was like, okay, maybe I can specify a certain condition. I'm like, I don't really need to do that. So um, I just basically left it and closed out and saved. So it basically made sure that the uniform generation was set up the way it was. So I think that's about it for that one. The other block that I wanted was called tilled soil. So that's basically what we created. And then I basically adjusted the texture for the top. And then I realized that I needed the textures for the sides. So I ended up quickly going and creating those textures just so we could basically use it. Once I had the textures, I basically just added or imported them, and then I basically set up the sides based on the top location of the texture. So the grid pattern here is relevant to how it's basically laid out. 
think of it all the edges where the textures connect are basically where the relevant sides are for the block um, that's why the bottom texture is actually upside down because it's uh, basically just cut into a square so it makes sense once you understand how a 3d shape is unwrapped but um, a lot of people still have problems with understanding that method once I did that, I needed to work on the procedure for right clicking on the block. So I wanted to basically get the uh, the main hand item. Uh, there was a new block that was added in the latest update for testing for the tool type. So I'm gonna be using that block because I can test for any particular item that is a hoe. And then I could basically go ahead and use that right click or the right hand item and basically deal, deal damage to it as well as um, update the uh, block model based on the location. So we now need to get the um, amount of, or play the sound as well. So I, I needed to obviously tweak some things because, because we're doing a right click event, it's not going to play any sound when we update the block. So I wanted to make sure that the sound is updated um, normally when you hoe something, it plays like a gravel sound. Um, I think it's the gravel place sound if I remember correctly. So I use the place sound and then I specify the center of the block. And then we need to run this on server side because the sound will play both on client and server. So we're going to actually do the damage first, play the sound, and then we're going to, well, replace the block and then, um, play the sound. So basically I just specified the tilled version just wanted to make sure that the things that I'm using are specified in the dependencies, those little tags. So once I did that, I wanted to tweak the stone uh, properties and the sand properties just a tiny bit, just to make sure that the properties were updated. The next thing that I did was go in game and I wanted to test the new mechanics for the uh, spawning of the dimension so I killed the witch and we just basically waited for the effect uh, while I was doing that I wanted to kind of just go around see if there was anything that um, would be a bug when we were traveling so like walking around and stuff like that and it looks like it ran pretty good so I'm pretty happy with the teleportation system now uh, you can kind of see there's a little bit of spots and stuff of where the soil generated so basically that's kind of what I was going for is having little parts of fertile soil mixed in with the default terrain and stuff. Uh, if we right click on it uh, you can see that it updates the texture and I was just basically testing to make sure that all the sides were uh, properly tilling and stuff like that and it looks like they're doing a great job with the, the way that it's tilling and stuff so pretty happy with that. Now I just wanted to kind of play around with the mechanics a little bit, see if there is any issues with other properties or anything like that. So I basically just um, looked around for some things that I also changed, like for example the stone texture, or not texture, but the properties for stone. I just want to make sure everything was running there. And we updated the sand for gravity, so I needed to kind of test that so let's find a sand block quickly there's some sand down here so sand does have gravity now so that works and finally I just wanted to go back here find that spot that I was working on I can't remember where it was but yeah it looks pretty good like I, I like the texture and we're back okay so I just wanted to kind of right click on the block and I noticed there were some right clicking issues with the block itself so I wanted to update that uh, we'll be tweaking the right click event a little bit. So all I needed to do to fix this issue with the right click uh, event is basically run it on a global trigger instead of running it from the block right click trigger. So when you're doing this you have to specify what block you're going to be right clicking on. So I just needed to add a simple AND gate and then basically go ahead and update the block to test for the uh, fertile soil that we wanted to right click on. Uh, it's going to test for the hoe first and then finally the block itself. Once I did that I just needed to make sure that the property, the trigger was disabled for both blocks. 
And then finally just testing in game, right clicking on the block seems to be working just as normal like it should be. So basically that's how you fix the right clicking on the block and stuff when it has issues. So outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.